This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and you're watching Mr. Mobile. Today we're going to take a look at third-party applications on the BlackBerry. And I'm holding a BlackBerry Storm here, but this is true for all BlackBerry devices, so it doesn't matter which model you have. We're going to install a third-party app on here while I'm telling you about the whole process. And I'm going to go ahead and get it started because it can be a little slow. You do have to download the application, and there are a couple of steps involved in the install. So while we're talking about the rest of the process, I'm just going to show it to you on this phone. And we've started this one off by requesting an SMS from a company called iScoot, who make a great Skype client for the BlackBerry. And so we're going to start off from the point where we have the SMS already loaded on here. You can just go ahead and go to the iScoot website and request an SMS get sent to your device if you want to follow along at home. So if we take a look at the phone, and you'll see that I have one unread SMS here. So I've got an SMS from iScoot. Now, you'll note that the phone number looks a little bit strange. Don't worry about it. Most of the SMS gateways send messages from what looks like an international or phone number. So don't worry about it if you don't recognize the number. Inside that SMS, you'll see that we've got a link for downloading the application. Most of them will look the same. They don't always have exactly the same content in them. But generally speaking, a little welcome message and a link. We click on the link and tell the BlackBerry to go ahead and get it. That's going to take us over to the web browser. Now, while that page loads, I'll tell you a little bit about third appli third party applications. There's lots of stuff out there from games to utilities, productivity software, enhancements for the BlackBerry. Google makes a whole bunch of great applications. So if you use Gmail or you want to synchronize your calendar, all of those things are available from Google. And so when you go up to the website that you've, from the link you've got on the SMS, you'll typically see something like this. This is a terms of use or end user license agreement. Now, you should actually read these end, of user, end, of, end user license agreements. I'm going to skip it and just click on accept because I've already read it. But make sure that you read them just to make sure that none of your rights are being violated by what you're agreeing to do. So I'm going to just click on that Accept button right there. And that's going to start loading the next page in the process, which will usually be a download page with a link to download the application from. Some of the applications that are out there are pay, and some of them are free. Depends where you go to download them from. We've listed some sites in the show notes for this show. So jump up to butterscotch.com in the Mr. Mobile section and check out the show notes. And that'll include a bunch of sites that you can go to to download software. And as I said, some of them are pay applications, but a lot of them are really worth it. So over here, coming back to our iScoot install, we've got a download here. And this is for the right version of the BlackBerry OS. The Storm runs OS 4.7. If you've got an older device, it should probably have detected what you're running and given you the right download link. So I'm going to click on the download link there. Let the BlackBerry download that. Now, if you've got any experience with an iPhone or an Android phone and you've played around in the App Store a little bit, you might be thinking, why isn't there an App Store for BlackBerry? Well, don't worry. There's actually one coming soon. RIM's been working on it for a little while, and there are a whole bunch of vendors who have already signed up to provide software to it. We're expecting it to be available pretty soon, so keep an eye out on RIM's website or just generally in the news. It should get pretty good coverage when it becomes available, and that will actually make this whole process a whole lot simpler because you can just go to the App Store on your BlackBerry, download the application. So what we have here is actually not a web page anymore. We've come out of the web browser, and this is a screen that the BlackBerry shows us on its own. It's a security screen to make sure that we really do want to go ahead and install this application. And so if you look at the screen, you'll note that it tells us a little bit about it. This came from iScoot. There's our version number, the size of the application, and it gives me an option to cancel or download. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And now we get the progress bar here that's going to show me how long it's going to take to download this application. This step of the process should happen no matter who you're installing software from. And it is really there to make sure that this is something you wanted to do and you weren't sort of getting coerced into doing by clicking on a link that you weren't expecting. Very important step of the process. Once this is finished, it's going to pop up a little screen to let me know that it's done and give me an option to run the application right away or go back to what I was doing before I started the install. Running it will take me directly into the application. And in this case, I could start setting up my Skype preferences so that iScoot can go ahead and connect. It's a great world of third-party apps out there, so don't feel afraid to jump in. A lot of fun games, actually. So if you've really thought of your BlackBerry more as a work device before, you should go and check out some of the games. There's a lot of the classic stuff, board games, and that kind of thing. But there's actually a lot of ports of games that you may have played on a gaming console or something like that. So I highly recommend it. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile. Thanks for watching. Check us out on butterscotch.com for more shows, and we'll see you next time.
This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash mrmobile.